Hey Stormers, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and having a very Happy New Year. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, obviously, it being Christmas, we've been in the holiday season, so not really uh, had a chance to do a great deal. Now, what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to show you this stuff. Let's see if it gets on the camera. Blue stuff, thermoplastic. This is a material that when you put in boiling water it becomes very soft and malleable and you can create molds with it very quickly and easily what i want to do is uh you've seen these in the past i've made this for gloomhaven now the quality is not very good it's quick and easy it looks okay on the table from a distance but close up you can see it looks a bit rubbish also i've also made a mold with this before and because it's cardboard it starts to come to pieces so it actually did look better than this before I started in future uh, if I'm going to make a few of these what I'll do is probably make a better one better quality one better looking no need to paint it of course and then put a few good coats of varnish on it probably some quite thickish varnish so that once you start making the mold when this stuff gets hot um, then it doesn't start to affect the actual original if you like and the cardboard starts to peel off and, uh, and some such stuff. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, we'll just continue as we are, just so I can show you uh, what it looks like and how to do it. So, um, also we've got a little surprise at the end. Um, this clearly is the Brute from Gloomhaven. And I contacted Isaac and Price, and I wanted to make a clear version of this to use when the brute goes invisible well i wanted to make a clear version of, of all of them but we started with the brutes it looked like the possibly the easiest one to cast so i've already made a cast of this using the blue stuff uh it's here um there we go um i'm not sure how well this is going to work it's there you can see it's already partly set but i don't want to unveil it at the moment um, I will be I'm going to leave it a few more hours and I'm going to unveil it at the end of this video and it'll either be a success or a fail and whatever happens <laughs> we can see either to do it this way or not to do it this way I was sneaking suspicion that I should probably do figures using the some sort of uh, mold that's uh, a liquid mold to cast around it or to make the mold pour, pour it in and create a mold something like uh, let's see maybe something like this where you let's see, where you, you basically put something support this in there like that and then fill that up with some sort of uh, mold uh, molding uh, resin and and let it set and then cut round it it's probably going to be better than, than this than this stuff but anyway we will see so I'll come back in a second and we'll start on the molding of the chest Okay, just quickly back, what I am going to do is I am going to cut this into more manageable chunks just so it, uh, it melts down quicker. Oh, I've lost that bit. It melts down quicker. So while I've got the water boiling, let's find this. I'm just going to, as I said, cut this, cut this up. So back in a sec. And we're back. Yep, definitely back. So I've got boiling water here. Can't see it very well, but we'll just stick all this into here. Can you see? That's all. Oh yeah. So basically, we've got that. We're going to stick all the bits. And the great thing about this is it's reusable. So if the mold doesn't turn out right, or you want to do a different mold, you just cut it up, reboil it again, and away it goes. So we'll just let that go for a minute or so I think, it's, I think it's about two minutes one minute 30 seconds so we'll be back when this is all melted okay you can see this is all starting to stick together now try and force it down into here keep it under the water that's it see it's all coming together in one bulk okay so i think you can probably see now it's a bit uh Squishy, squishy, that's not even a proper word. So I'm gonna try and take this out without burning my hands. Ay, 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 okay. So, let's get that here, let's get that here. 
So you can see it's actually now quite malleable. Huh? So what we need to do now, and this is where it sort of buggers up the the chest, is I'm going to try and create a mould in here. So I'm going to stick that in there. Oops, I've stuck that to the bottom. That was a mistake. Try and be a bit more careful what I'm doing. And then just... Create. I could. Is there anything here? No, that's not going to work. So I'm going to try and make the mold as. Probably don't need this much. But I'm going to. I need it to be holdable and also to keep its shape. So I'm going to try now this is not great it's not easy to do on camera because we need but we need some bulk up on the side it's not going to retain its shape It is actually easier than I'm making it seem here because I'm, I'm doing it obviously on camera and trying to show you what I'm doing and also at the same time make it the mould. Yeah, that hasn't actually worked out very well. Okay, so we're out, and you can see it's quite uh, it's quite flexible. So let's try and make a mold out of this. I may have to stop uh, and just do it off camera, but we will see. So let's try and get that in there. My to cut a bit off the edge and stick it on. Just cut that off for the time being. So, quite a bit. I think I've obviously done too much. So I'm hoping. Keep a nice flat base. And that's what we've got. Oh, wait. So that's what we've got now. So we just need to now let that set, and then we can come back and uh, <clears throat> and make a mold with it. What I'm going to use before I've already made this one before, as I said, and I used um very pure or very fine milliput which is quite expensive actually, so I'm just now going to try and see, I've got this from a quid, a quid a pack at a local Chinese shop, which is just uh, air dry clay, and I'm going to try and use, see if I can use that, that will be a lot cheaper. So anyway, we'll wait for this to cure, cool down, and then we'll come back and see what our mould looks like. Okay. Okay, so we're back. So, first problem is I ended up breaking the mould a bit when I took this out. Now, like I said, I've only just started doing this and the last one did work pretty much okay. But now I've decided that if I do any more, I will do it as a two-part mould. So, basically, uh, get two two parts of the, uh, the thermoplastic like a flat surface, lay some out, once it's hot, press into halfway, and then let that cool, then do another half, put it onto the top, make some registration marks by, you know, making some holes in the, 
in the, in the plastic. Uh, when that's cooled, then just pry it apart so you've got two halves, and then just make the mold. Put a bit of clay or putty or whatever in each half and do it. It's going to be far better than this. But what we'll do, I've done this in the interest of showing you warts and all. I will try and make one out of this. So we need some water. We've got some water. We need some clay. We've got some clay. So I've actually almost destroyed <laughs> this one. So I really need to make a new one of these. I'm thinking maybe, I haven't really got the skills, but to carve one out of wood or something or balsa wood. That might be possible. Anyway, that's something for the future. Let's put that to one side. And let's see how we get on with this. This will be interesting. So I'm not sure how much detail this gives or how it will what it will do, whether it will be any good at all. But anyway, let's just basically force some into the mould. Never used this before. I don't know how if it's gonna work or what it could actually be an absolute pile of crap down the side like I say in future air dries in how long I don't know how long it takes to air dry I've took the instructions, a couple of hours maybe. So, that base needs to stay together there. That's that. The mold seems to have stayed fairly together, but we'll get a, we'll get a rough idea anyway, if it, if it works or not. And in future, it'll do a two-part mold. So there you go. Learn by my mistakes. Do a two-part mold. Just need something to keep that together. Uh, we'll just force that against something here, just to keep the mold in. Okay. So I'll put that to the side and leave that for the time being. We'll come back in a second. So we're just going to come back and we're going to paint, even though this one is not so good, we're just going to give it a paint up and see if it looks any better at the end. So let's give it a, uh, I'm not going to spend ages on this, I'm going to give it a quick uh, thin base coat of black, just to hopefully, and I'm using a big flat brush here because I'm not really that bothered. You won't be uh, displaying these in a in a cabinet in your games room for sure these are just nice and quick and easy for use on the table so it's going to do a quick one saver just to get in all the creases and the cracks I don't even know if this is going to work out okay but hopefully it will Okay, so we've got like a, just a quick uh, base coat of black there. So we'll clean off the brush and we'll come in just mixing some uh, bit of brown. And we can, do, we can just go over the, the top. So it sort of like mixes in with the, the brown and the black together. It's going to look a mess, I know, but at least it gives some texture and some. Looks a bit, a bit white wood. White, like wood. Okay, stipple it a bit. Dry that off. And then we'll just. We'll do that. Let that dry a bit and we'll come back and do it a little bit more. Okay, so. <clears throat> we're back. Uh, it's a little bit, the chest is a bit drier now, not completely dry, but we'll try now and just dry brush a little bit of, this is just brown, I think it's beastly brown, so we'll just try and dry brush a bit over, it'll still mix, it's still wet, it's not a proper dry brush, we're just trying to get some 
textures and colours to make it look more like wood. We've got to. Uh, oops, let's go. Okay, so we'll mix in a little white or bone white with that. Give us a little bit of bone white. Just do up the contrast a little. Let's go on the see there. Let's leave that to dry a little bit, then we'll come back to it again. So I'm just back now with a sort of very light dry brush of I think leather brown and bone white. I'm just gonna am I on the camera there? Yes. I'm just gonna I'm just roughly dry brushing. Just trying to build up different colours. So it's not all just one sort of brownie colour. I mean, it does sort of tend to look a bit like chocolate anyway, because of the colour I've used. But it will come together once we start painting the gold banding on, I hope. Okay, so we'll right there, and then we'll take some... Add some more bone white to that mix. Oh, not that much. More bone white. We'll, mo we'll wipe most of this off because otherwise it's going to be a mess. And we'll just go around the outermost edges just to give it a bit of highlight. Right there, yeah. Like I say, if you were doing one of these, you really need to make a better original. This just gives you the basic idea. Let's just give it a bit of a... Okay, so let's leave that there for the time being. We'll come back with some gold banding. <clears throat> okay, forget what I said about gold. We're going to go for silver. I use, for silver, I use aqua gold. Humbrol. Oh. So, yeah, I use uh, aqua colour. I find it better than the Vallejo ones. This one just seems to give a better coverage as long as you mix it properly. So let's uh, get some silver on the brush and let's just try and paint. So I'll come back and do this. I'll show you afterwards when I've finished. Okay, so we're still waiting for the other one to dry, but I'll just show you what I did with the original one I cast, which this is the original one I cast. Like I say, it's not fantastic. I've painted some various shades of brown on there to make a sort of wooden effect. This really looks like it's been underwater for so long it's all rotted, which is no, no bad thing. It still looks okay on the table. Uh, I've added some small... Where are we? Uh some small little rings I found in the, in the Chinese store that were like, I don't know, a euro for not even that, 50 cents for like 20. 
um, just glued those to the sides like that uh, painted silver obviously I was going to do gold but I did silver on the top and just put a bit of Norn oil just to, to, to deaden it down a bit create some shadows and then just go over with some dry brush and pick out some highlights and basically that's it and I just threw a, a matte varnish on it uh, I might pick out the silver in in some gloss varnish later but that's basically it and there you go uh, like I say it's not fantastic I mean close up oh yeah it looks a mess and I'm sure I can do <laughs> okay but if you imagine yeah okay it's been in a dungeon for a long time it's all rotted and it's uh, it's it's starting to uh, the wood start to rot away yeah, okay it doesn't look so bad just take off the thing there from a distance on the table I mean, that's the sort of distance you'd be built. I mean, that's not so bad, is it, from there? Yeah. I'm not looking for validation. That's, that's what I've done. So we'll be back later. We'll try and um, uh, see what the other one looks like when it's when it's been cast. And then, of course, we've still got the big reveal of this, which may or may not turn out to be usable. I don't know. But we'll be back. Well, for me, it'll be back in a few hours. For you, it should be back in about... Um, a couple of minutes depending on what else i decide to record in the meantime okay see you in a sec okay so i'm not exactly sure where my videos are segueing into each other or uh, what's happened before this or whether this even works as uh, proper editing but this is a door i cast earlier from one of my originals i made um and let's just see if we can get to see this here okay and now I'll give it a bit of paint job. I've put two of these uh, little ring things on that I got from the Chinese store. I've blinged it up with a little tiny jewel thing I got from the Chinese store, a little bit of dry brushing. I bought some buttons from the Chinese store. Can you see a pattern here? I buy a lot of stuff from the Chinese store. Uh, just use as a stand. And let's just see if you... So yeah, so there you go. So we've got a door there. Just going to make a few more. I made this in the two-part mold, which is what I should have done with the uh, with the chest. So, there we go. Have I said there you go again? Yeah, I'm always saying there you go. So, we've got that there. And that's um, one door done. And that'll add to the other three or four I've got. But if I can make four or five of those. Um, and, of course, I would a little tip. Don't put them on, for Gloomhaven anyway. Don't put them on a hexagonal, put them on a round one. Then you haven't got to make one for each type of uh, location weight, because some are hexagonal that way, some are hexagonal that way, and then you end up with a door that doesn't fit right. So put them on a round stand, like that. Okay, I'll be back later with the grand finale. Hi Stormers, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, I have anyway. And Mrs Storm is here to watch also. Say hi Mrs Storm. <laughs> okay, this is going to be good or bad. Oy. Okay, slowly, slowly. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, I bent that now. Okay, I made a mistake there because I bent that. I shouldn't have bent that. But, okay, apart from that. Oh. It's not looking so bad. Slowly, slowly does it. Slowly. So this is basically clear resin. And I'm trying to make... A clear cast of the brute from oh no okay so I just spotted a flaw there because I think I broke the legs off because I didn't do that correctly I should have loosened here first but that's what super glue is for yeah? so I know that's broken there this is nice and off I know I'm not talking a lot because I'm Anakin here. Okay, so I know I know this bit's broken off, but I can glue this back on. And I think that might have been my fault. That's, uh, yeah, I should have really pulled that bit out. But okay, so it's actually, I tell you what, the bit of clean up that's actually not. It's a lot of bubbles in it. It needs some gluing. It'll need some cleanup with a file. Uh, I think maybe because the legs were. Does it look like the legs actually didn't cast correctly or what? I don't know. 
No, actually, I think that's how it's supposed to sit like that. Because sometimes the brute, if you own this, you'll know that the brute actually does tend to sit to one side. So I think I can possibly... I might try that again, but I think once that's cured, it's actually better than I thought it would be, I have to admit. Oh, you... Excellent camera work there from Mr. Spielberg. So there you go. So I think once that's cleaned up, uh, maybe if I do it again, put maybe a little bit of ink in with the resin to give it a little glow of a different colour, probably blue for the for the brute. But I think in all in all, that may come out okay. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, uh, oh, bollocks. It's fell over now. Not the massive finale I was hoping, but all in all, actually, I think it came out better than I could have hoped for. So, like and subscribe if you want to see me do some more of these, which I'll probably will anyway, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Well, having now had a proper look at this, I can see what's actually gone wrong. Um, the resin is not fully, I think when I poured the resin in from this way, um, it's filled up from the bottom. Obviously there's a lot of bubbles in there, but it doesn't seem to have filled up the legs there. So the legs haven't been filled up um, and then it's just created an air bubble and then it's finished on the top with like a big air bubble in between, which means this is like this. And there is a lot of air bubbles in it, I think you can see. So, uh, I'll be reading up on the instructions, and it seems that if you put a hairdryer on the... Let's go there. If you put a hairdryer on the mould, I mean, there isn't a very big gap at the top, see, to pour the resin in. So, I think, from what I've been reading on the instructions you put a hairdryer not too hot otherwise because this is um, activates by heat remember this thermoplastic it should make the bubbles rise to the top and maybe I'll get a better a better mold um, certainly I can see part of the uh, part of the shield is missing as well but I mean I'm not looking for perfect copies I mean if that was uh, stable and I could clean that up I'm not bothered about the bubbles I mean you can barely see them anyway when you've got them on the table uh, Obviously, the sword is a bit smaller by the look of it, but I think that would be, you know, acceptable. I'm actually surprised the horns came out. I didn't think they would come out at all, to be honest. Can you see there? Yeah. So, we'll revisit this. Not the uh, rousing success I hoped, but we will revisit. Let's move you out of the way. Now, the air dry clay. This didn't work at all. Uh, you can see it's a complete mess. Um, the problem with air drying clay is it needs air to dry. It needs to be exposed to the air. And what I didn't click was, as this was inside the mould, this top bit uh, dried, but of course the bottom is not uh, exposed to air, so it doesn't dry. So when I pulled it out, it just came to pieces. So I've just moulded this by hand to see if I can get some sort of rough shape. Uh, it's basically for the scrap bin. Um, so, air drying clay, no good. So, back to milliput, which I believe hardens by use of a chemical reaction when you mix the two parts together. So, I will try and get some milliput, and as I said before, I will make the this uh, mould for this in a two-part mould, not in a one-part, so it's easier to get to get apart. Uh, I so, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. If you're looking for a tutorial, this is a tutorial on basically how not to do it. But anyway, I hope I've given you some ideas and you can avoid the pitfalls uh, that, that I've fell into. And of course, as I said, finally, I think the best thing to, to mold these is the liquid, uh, liquid latex or something you can pour around and then do it. But anyway, that's where we stand at the moment. I'll let you know any updates in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, happy new year to you all. Bye for now.